Okay, let's, let's see some examples of the product rule. Basically, you find the derivative ddx of 3x plus 5 times x squared minus 3. All variables agree, so what we do is, there is a rule that says that is the first one, we write the first one, 3x plus 5, times the derivative of the second one. The derivative of this is just 2x. We have to write a parenthesis here because if not means just the 5 times 2x and is everything times 2x. The first times the derivative of the second one plus the second one x squared minus 3 times the derivative of the first. The derivative of this is only 3, the 3, so times 3. The same thing we need to write a parenthesis, okay? And then we can work a little bit here. Uh, 2x times 3x will be 6x six, six squared plus 10x plus 3x squared minus 9 and then we just identify the like terms and we work with them. Uh, 6 plus that will be 9x squared plus 10x minus 9 so that will be the answer that will be ddx of this one. This is the product rule because you're multiplying two functions. So if you have uh, f of x times g of x and you want to find d dx so you have two functions that could be any any two functions so you write the first one which is f of x that would be like the, the general rule the first one times the derivative of the second one plus the second one g of x times the derivative of the first Okay, basically this is the rule for the product when you're multiplying two functions and you want to find the derivative. Let's take a look of, to another example that would help you understand it better. Okay, let's suppose we have, uh, for example, two functions. Uh, a square root of x plus 1, this one, times um, x to the fourth minus 3 for example those two functions and we want to find d dx so according to the product rule we have to find we do the first one let's suppose this one is f of x and this one is g of x so the first one square root of x plus 1 times the derivative of this one that will be 4x to the third 4x to the third times plus the second one x to the 4 minus 3 times the derivative of the first one. Now notice that in this one you need to use the chain rule, okay? Go back to the chain rule if you don't understand how to find the derivative of this. So the, I'll do it here, separate, and then I'm, I will put it here. So we have x plus 1 raised to 1 half. The derivative of this is, well, it's not equal because this is the function we're going to find the derivative, so they are not equal. So it's 1 half of x plus 1 raised to negative 1 half. We use the chain rule because we find the derivative of the outside times the derivative of the inside. In this case, it's 1, and there is no any difference, but when you have a number like 3x or x squared or something, this times the derivative of the inside make a difference. So that would be here times one half of uh, x plus one raised to negative one half, okay? So of course we can write this on the bottom inside of the square root, but we can write it like this. And what follow here is just to work a little bit with some algebra, but that's not the point right now. So the product rule is the first one times the derivative of the second one plus the second one times the derivative of the first one. That's the product rule that we're using when we are multiplying two functions and we want to find d dx or uh, the derivative respect to the variables. Remember that not always have to be f of x or g of x, could be s of t. Uh, we find the derivative respect to t is time a lot in many word problems. So I hope this video helped you a little bit and have a wonderful day.